gonna be going over some of the best kits that you should get in Roblox Bed Wars. Now, for the first kit, we have the Miner Kit. Now, the Miner Kit is a really good early and late game kit for getting resources really quickly and outgearing your opponent. If you don't already know what the Miner Kit does, basically, when you kill someone, you get a little statue that appears on your screen, and then you can mine them to get extra resources from them. This is a really good early game kit because if you manage to kill an opponent early, you can get a ton of resources and buy armor super quickly. And if your opponent is really geared and has a lot, a lot of resources, you can get a lot of diamonds and a lot of emeralds from them. Now, as you can see here, I just spawned right after dying and I was able to mine two statues and get up to 18 diamonds. And this massive advantage allowed me and my teammate to get tier 2 generator and damage upgrade 1. And then from there, we were able to buy us some stone to protect our bed and an iron sword. And then I decided to rush my enemies with all of this gear and I ended up 1v2ing them because of my massive loot advantage. Me and my teammate were able to break their bed from all the resources that we got and I was able to get a couple emeralds out of that. And then going from there, I was able to smash the win with 10 kills and a nice crossbow kill at the end of the game. Next, we have the Evelyn kit. Now, this kit is really, really interesting because it's actually one of the best PvP kits in the game right now. Now, if you aren't familiar with this kit, basically, whenever you deal damage, you have a chance of getting like a little orb that appears on your screen. Basically, when you consume the orb, you teleport to the orb, you get some shield, and you get some extra speed. The reason why this kit is so good is because you can just outplay your opponents really easily, and they won't even see it coming. And here's an example of me using the Evelyn kit to outplay my opponent. So here in this game, I was playing a solos match, and I was versing this Yuzi Sweat. Now, of course, the Yuzi kit is a really popular kit, but however, it wasn't enough to match my skills with the Evelyn kit. He was obviously trying to collect like diamonds and he tried to use his Uzi dash to try and get an extra head off. However, I saw this coming. Even though I was getting really, really low, since I had the Evelyn kit equipped, I was able to get an extra head off, get some speed and some shield. And then from there, I was able to go break his bed and we were fighting again. He didn't even end up getting close to killing me and I wiped him out. This guy also came over to my base and wanted a screenshot, so that was pretty cool as well. I also ended up going over to Pink's base and still be pretty toxic and I wiped him out as well. This kid is really, really overpowered. And if you really want to throw off your enemies that badly, then I suggest using the Evelyn kit. It's a really good PvP kit for solos and duos. And of course, I ended up winning that match as always. It was super easy. Now for the next kit, guys, we have the good old classic Hannah kit. Now this kit is very similar to the Evelyn kit. However, what makes this kit really, really special is of its ability. Now, if you're not already aware, when your enemy gets one shot, you can basically just execute them with a 999 damage attack, which will basically just instant kill them. However, they do have to be one shot, but you do get an extra range buff and a combo buff as well. It's a really useful kit if you're playing duos or squads and if you're versing more than one enemy. The best example of me using this kit was when I was playing with my friend in doubles and we just kind of rushed them instantly and I was able to eliminate the first guy and the second guy at the same time with 10 HP. And as you can see, I was kind of running away here because I had a lot, a lot of iron. I ended up spawn killing them both again. And we ended up wiping that team out with ease. This is a really, really powerful kit for something like duos because you can use the combo ability to just instantly kill them. I would strongly recommend this kit if you are really, really good at PvP because you can take full advantage of this kid's combo ability and wipe out an entire squad. However, the one downside to using this kit over the Evelyn kit is that with the Hannah kit, you get 90 HP. So you do have to be a little bit careful. However, you can always use enchants like the forest enchant to get your health right back up to 100 HP. And for this next kit, guys, I'm going to let you see if you can guess this next kit. This kit was the first really overpowered kit that was added to Bed Wars, and it still is one of the best PvP kits. So if you guess the Grim Reaper kit, then you are correct. This kit is a really OG kit that is still somewhat overpowered. It's really good to avoid dying from third parties since you can consume the souls. You won't be able to take damage for a little bit amount of time and you also get some health back. You even get a slight speed boost as well. So if you're towering up with your enemies and getting in a build fight with them,
them. If you end up winning that fight, you can consume the soul and jump right back down without taking any full damage at all. This gear is also really good for solos because you can just wait for your opponent to respawn, consume the soul so they can't attack you like I'm doing right here. And even though my enemy had armor and I didn't even have armor here, I was able to use the Grim Reaper's ability to get my soul and heal right back up to 100 HP. And then obviously I stole his iron and I got myself some armor because I really didn't want to die to my next enemy. And here I waited for my opponent to rush me and then I used the Grim Reaper's speed ability to get to my opponent's base quicker. I really didn't want to waste any time with this because I could have got rushed at any time. And then obviously I killed my enemy because he kind of sucks at the game. But I didn't consume his soul yet. I wanted to wait a little bit and take his bed before we fight because I didn't want any disadvantages going into this fight. I know my enemy doesn't have a bed and I'm still stuck on 71 HP. So I consume the soul here, get my HP right back up to 100, and then I continue fighting my enemy, and obviously, I easily won that fight. There was no chance he was winning that. And I ended up winning that game with a really nice bow shot, and that's why this kit is so good. Now, for this next kit, guys, it was pretty obvious that this kit was going to be on this list, the Uzi kit. This kit is an absolute classic, and I happen to have the OG variant of this kit with the flame sword. That was really useful. And if you didn't already know, the Uzi kit is basically just a better Jade kit. You get a dash ability with your sword and you can use it to save blocks dash into enemies or even run away from enemy. There isn't even any downsides to using this kit besides you having a more expensive sword. That's kind of annoying sometimes. However, it's a really good trade-off because the dash ability saves you from buying blocks. It's really, really helpful. And as you can see, I'm rushing orange right now and they just tried to block me off with three blocks when they place behind them. However, since I have the UZ kit, that doesn't even matter to me. I can just straight up rush to their bed using the UZ dash ability start taking their bed. Now, the big mistake that Orange made here is actually focusing on his team generator instead of killing me. So I easily got his bed and I went to rush him as soon as possible. Now he had armor here and I was starting to get pretty low. So I backed up and used my UZ dash ability to get an extra hit off of him to ensure that I'm winning this fight. I really don't want to die here because I still have some juicy resources on me. And this extra dash ability really helped me win this PvP fight. As you can see, I destroyed that guy and he had so much iron on him. So I instantly bought iron armor and a few more blocks because I want to rush my next enemy. And as you can see, this yellow guy is trying to steal my loot right now. So I'm using the Uzi kit to dash towards him. Now for the next kit, we have the Lumen kit, which is still one of the most underrated kits in the game. I've been saying this for ages and it still is a really good kit. If you don't already know, this kit was a part of the Ember and the Lumen kit and this kit is still really overpowered and I would say it's even better than the Ember kit. If you don't already know what this kit does basically it replaces your diamond sword with a lumen sword and it basically just acts as a bow in a sword you can basically use this kit as a makeshift crossbow and it's really really accurate now and it has a massive hitbox now i want to show you how overpowered this kit is and obviously at the start of the game this kit doesn't really provide you with any really really good buffs so i'm just gonna fast forward to the part where i actually get the lumen sword now as you can see i bought the lumen sword and i'm currently rushing mid However, I see a guy that's trying to teleport to base. So he's obviously got some juicy loot. Unfortunately, even though I was able to literally hit him through the wall with the Ember Sword, I still wasn't able to catch him in time. However, there was another guy rushing mid and I knew that this guy was going to be stacked. So I charged up my Lumen Sword ready to fight him. And as predicted, this guy was absolutely crazy. So I, back so I backed away and I was charging up my Lumen Sword and just hitting him from afar. And then I came up really close and destroyed that guy. I literally had 56 HP left and I was dealing up to 30 damage. And if you count the projectile damage as well, I was doing even more damage. And obviously this guy started to get really annoyed in chat. He has no idea that I'm using one of the best kits in the game right now. Now for the next kit, we have the Lassie kit. And I don't even think I need to explain what this kit does because you guys probably already know. As you can see in this game, I was able to catch my enemies off guard multiple times. As you can see, I hooked that guy right in and she wasn't even expecting her. I just demolished her. And I'm currently rushing that team right now and I'm severely undergeared. Even though we're still really undergeared, I was able to get that bed and destroy them using this kit, catching them off guard and winning the fight. I was able to 2v2 them with my teammate and we ended up both winning that fight and demolishing them. Now for the next kit, we have the Lila kit. Now this kit is really good if you love the bow. Basically what this kit does is it spawns a little flower and does power 
passive damage. And as you can see, I was able to clutch up that fight because I had the Lila kit equipped it. And as you can see, I'm just going around destroying all my enemies with this kit because of how overpowered it is. However, what makes this kit even better is the crossbow. This crossbow is absolutely insane because the passive damage that it does will just make your enemies go crazy. I ended up just staying at mid and this guy with iron armor was trying to rush me, thinking that he could try and kill me. I could have sworn this guy was hacking because he was just teleporting everywhere. I had no idea what was going on. However, that was no match for me because I ended up killing him and wiping him out of the lobby. I could have swore that guy was hacking, but you let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think that that guy was cheating? 